In this video tutorial, I will explain and demonstrate on how to use the observation node feature and edit its settings in Sleepworks software. The observation node tool allows users to electronically document their observations at regular intervals during acquisition. It also allows you to generate an observation report summarizing all the collection observations, all the general and summary observations. The information collected in the observation notes and the intervals at which the note appear are customizable, but be mindful that it has to be configured prior to starting a study, which I will explain later. For the moment, let's see how this feature works in the software. I have a presently running study here with likes on status. And as you can see, the observation node icon is gray out. That means it is not active yet. You need to lay the likes off marker and once likes off event is entered, the observation node's start time is set and the observation icon in the toolbar become active. The software begins counting down the time until the first observation node is due to be completed. So now, when you hover your mouse cursor over the icon, and the tooltip will appear and provide information about the next scheduled node. And in this case, I have about 30 minutes until the observation nodes window pops up. And since I'm not going to wait till then, I will just click on it to bring up the observation notes dialog box, which exactly what you will see after 30 minutes later. This also means that at any point during the recording, an unscheduled observation notes can be added by clicking on the icon. So now, the dialog box contains several auto-populated fields by system, such as the channel value, the time information and fields that are populated by the attending acquisition technician like the text boxes, the drop-down list and some check boxes. The observation time display here is the time the observation node dialog box open and the entry time will be updated when the node is entered and closed. All other auto-populated fields will continue to update or can be refreshed by clicking the blue refresh button here. Also, you can see exclamation mark in front of this uh, each field here. This is to mark the entry as important so that when you review it later, you know that this requires more attention. If you click the exclamation mark in the upper right corner here, it will mark the entire node as important. So let's try out with a couple of uh, exclamation mark. For example, I select the respiratory event status, the snoring status, and SPO2, which require um, more attention to it. I'm just going to fill up some of the uh, events for the respiratory event. And then for the snooze button, this is to delay by pre-selected amount of time and it will close the dialog box but maintain the observation time until it is entered by the user. To close and save the information, you can either click on the OK button, hit enter or escape. After that, an observation node icon will appear at the top of the signal window and will be listed in the annotation viewer as well. You can show the observation node report by clicking on the icon here to see a list of the observation nodes entered earlier. 
You can also see the exclamation mark appear here. Next, I'm going to show you how to review these observation notes in review window. First, you can click on the observation note icon in the toolbar to open the closest observation note dialog box and navigate to that area of the study. Or you can single click on the observation note entry in the annotation viewer to navigate to that area. And then click on the icon to open the note. Okay, or you can even hover your mouse cursor to this icon and you will see some of the observation notes information. You can even open up the note by double clicking on the observation note entry in the annotation viewer to navigate to and open the selected observation note. You can utilize the blue arrows here to jump to the previous or the next note in the study. Alternately, you can click on the observation note report icon and it will open the report which will display a list of all the observation notes entered and allow you to navigate to the note of your choice. Clicking go to note to navigate to that specific area of study. And now I'm going to show you how to change the observation note settings. To change the settings, you need to go to Edit, Settings, and then choose the Observation Notes tab. In the Settings dialog box, it allows the users to enable observation notes. Because this is off by default, and must be checked to activate the tool or configure any of the other settings. And then after that, you can set the note and the snooze interval in minutes. And typically, we will set it at 30 minutes for the note interval and two minutes for snooze. You can also decide whether the notes are for read only once it is entered and closed. And then at the column here, the column box here, you can see a list of fields that would appear in the observation notes dialog box. As you can notice here, we have about four items here are being grayed out. It means that you are not allowed to change any of the settings for these four fields. Whereas the rest, you are allowed to edit the information and the type of format for that view. Now let's try to create a new view in this dialog box. To add a new parameter, you have to click Add, and then you can label your new parameter. In this case, I'm going to add the temperature as a new view. And then next, you need to choose the type a format type for your parameter. I'm going to use number. But you can also have other choices like to have the boolean format, the checklist, drop down list, and etc. But now I'm going to use number. As for precision, I'm going to set it to 1. 
after that you can click apply and next I'm going to add another text field for example I'm going to add blood pressure so first of all click add and then next name your label and then choose the format type in this case again I'm going to use number precision I will set to zero and click apply after that you can rearrange the sequence by pressing move up or move down button so that it will appear accordingly in the observation note dialog box during the recording so now let's add another one to text in this case I'm going to add mass type for example and then I can choose a drop down list then I can start adding different types of mass here I'm going to add nasal full face nasal pillow and click apply and then now let me just initiate a new study Okay. And remember, before you can use the observation note feature, you need to tag likes of event. And now, when you click on the observation note icon, you will see that there are additional text field right here. As we can see here, we have added the mask type with a drop down list so that I can choose from the list here and also for blood pressure I can simply key in a numerical value and temperature for example putting it at 36.2 and after that you can click OK then when you review you can simply double click the icon here then it will show all the entered information and again you are not allowed to edit any of this information after you close the dialog box